Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the quadratic functions. So in the grade 9 topic, this is the next one after solving quadratic inequalities. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So let's talk about quadratic functions. A quadratic function is a second degree polynomial represented as f of x using our function notation is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, or we can also express this f of x as y. So another form is y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Tatandaan nyo guys that f of x is equal to y, and when it comes to functions, meron tayong variable x and variable y as your input and output. And then, when it's a quadratic function, it is a second degree polynomial. So another thing about the quadratic function that you need to understand or to know is that the graph of a quadratic function is a parabola. Parabola is a U-shaped curve na kung saan uh, we have four different orientations of parabola in mathematics. But in this case, for the quadratic functions, we only have two orientations of parabola. One is upward or that opens upward and downward. Now, this is your parabola. This is a U-shaped parabola. And another thing, you can also encounter this kind of parabola wherein the opening of the parabola goes down. So, ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon is all about the parts and this one. So, let's, have, let's talk about the parts of the parabola. As for the parabola, mag-focus lang tayo dito sa ating, ano, sa ating parabola. This parabola opens up. So, this part is the opening of parabola. So, as you can see, it looks like this. The, uh, the arrow heads goes up. Ibig sabihin, the opening of the parabola is upwards. And another thing na dapat namin tindihan about parabola ay yung kanyang ver this point. This point is considered as vertex. If the parabola opens up, the vertex or the point, this one, this point, vertex, is considered as the lowest point of the parabola. But if the parabola opens downward, this one, this is the vertex, it is considered as the highest point of the parabola. Next, aside from the opening, which is upward, and the vertex, which is this lowest point of the parabola, we also have these points. As you can see, these two points here in the parabola, it intersected the x-axis. So the possibility is that the parabola intersects the x-axis or the y-axis. These points are called as the intercepts. We know from your grade 7 mathematics, from the linear equation in function, we know that the part of the line that intersects the x or y axis are called the intercepts. Now let's move on with the next part. We also have this part. Drawing ko lang. We also have this line wherein it is a perpendicular line that passes through the vertex. And the purpose of this line, it serves, it serves as the mirror image of, of the parabola. It is called as the axis of symmetry. Wherein, it will create two equal parts of the parabola wherein we have the right side and the left side of the parabola. So, makakaroon ka ngayon ng error, mirror image when it comes to parabola. Inahati niya yung parabola natin. That is your axis of symmetry. And the next thing na kailangan natin itong tandaan, uh, aside from the definition, the parts of the parabola, is that we need to know 
how to transform the quadratic functions y is equal quadratic functions in the form y is equal to a times x minus h squared plus k. Dahil, ito yung natin. Ito, this is your general form, guys. At these equations or these functions are in general form. So, this part, y is equal to a times x minus h squared plus k is the standard form of quadratic function. What is the purpose? Bakit natin kailangan matutunan how to transform these equations into this form or in standard form? It will give us uh, the orientation if we know if we, if we can transform any quadratic functions in this form we can easily know, know the orientation and the vertex of the parabola we're in we're in it will give us or it will give us the information kung paano natin siya graph okay so let's have item number one we are given y is equal to x squared minus six x minus six so our question here is how are we going to transform this function to this form? So first thing you need to do is to transpose negative 6 to the other side of the equation. And it will give you this kind of equation. y plus 6 is equal to x squared minus 6x. As you can see, now we have 6x to right, to left, to right side and we transpose it to the left side of the equation. And it, and from negative, it became positive. So what will happen next is that this one, as you can see, we have here x minus h squared. So we will create a perfect square trinomial here, coming from x squared minus 6x. So the step is, get the coefficient of your linear term, which is 6x, that is negative 6, divided by 2, and then, that is negative 3, square your answer. Again, Get the coefficient, which is negative 6. Divide it by 2 always. And then square the quotient. So this will give you negative 3, which is equal to 9. So what will happen is that it will become y plus 6 is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 9. We're in, if we added here 9, kailangan din tayo add it sa left side. So this will become plus 9. And to simplify this part, it will become y plus 15, okay, is equal to this one. We will express this into square of, square of binomial, wherein this one is a perfect square trinomial already. To get this form, get the square root of x squared, which is x, the square root of 9, which is 3, and then copy the sign of the middle term, which is negative or minus, and then square. Next step natin gagawin, as you can see, y is isolated. Here we have y plus 15. And this 15, we need to transpose this to the other side. So it will become y is equal to x minus 3 squared minus 15. From positive, it became 15. And this is now the standard form of the equation. So as you can see, we have y is equal to the quantity of x minus 3 squared minus 15. Where in sabi ko sa inyo kanina, we can easily know the vertex of this quadratic function or parabola. So in vertex natin kasi guys is hk. Okay? Yung vertex natin is represented by h and k. So at the end. This is h, comma, k. Now, to get the value of h, as you can see, we have here negative 3, diba? And this is subtraction. Kung ano nakikita nyo dito, baguhin nyo. This is negative 3. So your h now is positive 3. And as for the value of k, since this is plus, okay, this is plus, uh, no need to change the sign of 15. So that is negative 15. Now, the vertex of this parabola is simply 3, negative 15. Okay? Now, let's move on with item number 2. So, let me erase this. For item number 2, we have y is equal to 5x squared minus 20x minus 5. So, the first step is to transpose this to the other side of the equation. And it will give us, okay, 
will give us the equation of y plus 5 from negative it became positive is equal to 5x squared minus 20x so what's next it is different quite different from the first example because we have now the coefficient of 5 instead of 1 so what you will do is you need to factor out 5 you have y plus 5 is equal to 5 times x squared minus 4x we factored out 5 from 5x squared minus 20x so it became x squared minus 4x so this time what we do is transform this x squared minus 4x into a perfect square trinomial so we have now y plus 5 is equal to get the coefficient of this which is negative 4 get the coefficient which is negative 4 and then divided by 2 the answer is negative 2 and square your answer which is negative 2 squared that will give you the answer of 4 okay so what you will do is add 4 plus 4 is equal to 5 times x squared ah not 4 sorry not 4 x squared minus 4x plus 4 so what will happen here anong inadadag natin sorry guys ha anong inadadag natin dito since nagad tayo ito ng 4 hindi, na, hindi tayo magad dito ng 4 kasi meron tayong 5 sa labas so the value of this is 4 times 5 nagad tayo ng 20 dito therefore we will add here plus 20 and as for simplifying this this is y plus 25 is equal to 5 and then to express this x squared minus 4x plus 4 in square root of binomial get the square root of x squared which is x get the square root of 4 which is 2 and then copy the sign which is minus squared so right now this is the standard ah uh, not yet not yet we're not yet done sorry we will transpose this to the other side so it will become negative so our final form is y is equal to 5 times x minus 2 squared minus 25. This is the standard form of the quadratic function y is equal to 5x squared minus 20x minus 5. And to identify your vertex, your vertex, this is negative 2, so this is positive. to bagoy natin. And your minus 25, as is na siya. So this is negative uh, 2, 25. This is the answer. This is the standard form, and this is the coordinate. These are the coordinates of your vertex. So, hey now guys, I hope that you learned something from this video about the definition of quadratic function, the graph of quadratic function, which is the parabola, and even the parts of it. And lastly, how to transform a quadratic function in standard form y is equal to a times x minus h squared plus k. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Goyne. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye! -bye.